It's official. It's official. Eric Ten Hag signs new deal. Hey, 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 guys. It's Old Man G back again. This time we're not upload, no live stream, no short, but not upload to react to the news that Eric Ten Hag has signed an extension um, for Manchester United till 2026. Before we get into it, guys, remember, if you are new to the channel, like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter and Twitch at we, well, Twitter at WeUnitedX, on Red Devil Studio on Twitch and Instagram. We're also on TikTok as well. So check out the socials, links on description. So let's get into it, guys. So as you can see, Fabrizio, Ornstein, you know, most of the channels are discovering now. So this is this is not new news, but I just want to give my spin on it um, and hopefully you'll appreciate it. But just reading the Fabrizio post, as you can see, official Eric Ten Hag signs new deal Manchester United bad until June 2026. Now, this is actually key here. I'll come back to this in a second. I'm very pleased to have reached agreement with the club to continue working together. Looking back at the past two years, we can reflect with pride on two trophies and many examples of progression from where we were when I joined. However, we must also be clear that there is still lots of hard work ahead to reach levels for to Manchester United, which means challenging for English and European titles. In my discussions with the club, we have found complete unity in our vision for reaching those goals, and we are all committed to making that journey together. Now, of course, um, there's obviously news about the fact that Ten Hag is getting the Go Eagles guy and also Ruben Nisto as part of his coaching staff as well. So obviously things are changing. But I thought it was interesting that I think a lot of people, maybe initial reactors, thinking, oh, wow, Eric Ten Hag has got a massive new deal. But the reality is that we know that Eric Ten Hag's current contract would have expired at the end of next of the end of June 2025. So effectively, what's happened is that whether they, it's, if they triggered a, a year a, a year extension or whether he signed a different extension, um, the it's it's effectively just a year extension on his current contract, basically. So you can look at that as a, a few ways. You can look at that as um, the Manchester United current board thinking, okay, well, there isn't really anything better in the market right now. We need to obviously provide our coach some sort of stability and reassure, stability, you know, because there's no point in really giving a guy one year left on his deal to go into a season. That isn't really, that's not really stable, really. Um, so giving that year, so that two year, two two year kind of birth gives a little bit of um, a, a stability for him to be able to do what he needs to do and you know manage accordingly, etc. That's obviously one way of looking at it. Then obviously you can the perspective of the deal well. If it obviously all goes to pot um, in this season, you know, things go, get worse, you know, the, 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 the players turn on him, football, everything, whatever, then, you know, sacking him isn't really going to be that expensive, really. You know, so like it's it's just an it's just additional year. You're not, he's, he's coming towards the year. Presumably there will be things in that contract, certain stipulations, for example. So, from the board's perspective, they're probably thinking this is probably the right thing. And then from Ten Hag's perspective, he's thinking at least I've got time to be able to build things. But plus or minus, maybe, you know, if things don't go well, I can maybe look and see uh, other jobs and stuff like that. Because quite frankly, um, you know, there's potentially going to be um, more clubs, more jobs available next summer, depending on how certain managerial placements shape out. So these are the things. But overall, I think that, uh, I think from my perspective is that this is this is probably the right decision. Um, I think that realistically speaking, there were not that many um, individuals out there, I would have said, that could have given the similar results to Ten Hag as a short period of time. And given the fact that he's only been given a year extension means that if, of course, as I said, it, he the, the next season is a complete and total failure, um, then obviously he'll be sacked. There's no doubt about that. Um, but also, you know, it's now on Ineos to be able to deliver the players and the support and the backing that Ten Hag actually needs. Because this, I think, will be and should be, given the fact that Dan Ashraf has been confirmed, etc. This should be the first season where really and truly we're going to see um, the benefit of having a structure aboard and hopefully a player backed um, with the players that he needs to, you know, at least have a successful campaign. What that looks like, I don't know, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, that's all for me for now. Remember, if you're on the channel, to like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter. We are now tagged X and smash the notification button. Have a nice day, everyone. And cheers. Peace, peace, peace.